witnessing could be done verbally. It could actually be done sort of as an internal skill for myself. Verbally might be saying to a child that's, you know, who's just kind of put tight fists and thrown their arms down just like this. I might say, to, I might go over to them depending on the child and how they might take some of this. And then I might say to them, your hands went like this. Mm. And what happens after that typically um, in many scenarios is that the child then looks at you. The moment that they look at you, this is our opportunity to download our calm. This is why it's so vital Mm. that the adult is in their executive state, because clearly if I'm in my emotional state, I'm going to be more of a trigger than, than very helpful for that child. The moment they look at me, um, I mm-hmm. then now sort of, with the goal of upshifting them now to okay. their emotional state, so maybe they, they go, no, no, or stop it, something like that, which means now they're exhibiting verbal, which is now I've upshifted. So this is an mm-hmm. upgrade from I'm throwing things or I'm hitting you or lashing out. So um, I'm going to notice that behavior, and then perhaps I'm going to say to the child, you seem frustrated. And so that satisfies the need here. So that's the noticing for here. And then at the very, very top or the executive state, perhaps that child looking over to them and after I've said, you seem frustrated, then I'm gonna offer some positive intent. And so that might come in the form of, I have to make it up because I don't know exactly why they're throwing their backpack Mm. down, but I'm just gonna guess it. The more I know the child, the more I'm connected to the child, the more likely they're going to, Uh, it's going to come to me a little bit quicker. So it might be, you seem frustrated. You wanted to put your backpack over there and Mm. somebody has their backpack in there. So I've got to be able to be attuned and pick up on the signals. Mm. And and that's hard. That's hard because you you don't just have one child in your classroom. You've got so many others. And, And most teachers say to me, it's this idea of, there's not enough of me to go around to right. everybody. How do I do this? I only have one teammate and that's, you know, and, and we're just kind of, you know, making it by somehow. So noticing could be done in a verbal fashion and we call that DNA. So it's describing the body and what the body is doing verbally. Um, and then we're going to notice the feeling. So got to name it. And that's where we start with that. And then there's A, which is going to be acknowledge the child's intent. You kind of mm. make it up. What do you think it might've been that they were wanting? And preschoolers, preschoolers will correct you. So if you, right. if you miss the mark on that, they're going to go, no, it's not that I wanted to put my backpack there. It's that she looked at me funny or, or she right. said, I can't come to her birthday party. Oh, so you were frustrated because you wanted to be at that party too.